Hey friends, thanks for joining me for another video. Like I said, I think I'm gonna be uploading several, I mean, every day this week, not several times. Well, at least several times, but I'm trying for every day this week to get a video up. So tomorrow I'll be showing my top 10 favorite um, Team UI shadow palettes. And I'm probably gonna film it today. I'm not sure, I've got some appointments later. But anyhow, we're gonna get right into it. Guys, this first thing, I don't know where exactly I'm gonna put this and it might be after the holidays before I put it out because it's not very, well, let me get this trash can over here. But these I just had to have and they don't look exactly like they did in the picture. Um, let's see. Now these don't look, Okay, and guys, they came nicely packed in this package with the, with the lid on it and inside, and then each one was in plastic. But I ordered these two kitties. Aren't they cute? They're wood, they're solid wood, or, they're, or maybe resin, but they're definitely finished to look like wood. And here at the top, they even look, one of them even looks a little crackled. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to look or not because the other one doesn't look that way. I might have to contact them about this. I don't, I'm not sure if that looks, if that's intentional or not. It may have been that they got too warm in shipping and that made the paint start crackling or the stains start crackling a little bit. But anyway, I think they're really cute. They remind me of something. Maybe a Disney movie with cats. But I love the way they go together and their tails and their heads are facing towards each other when placed like this. Either way would be really cute. They'd be cute placed like this too. But yeah, they're super cute. I really like these. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna find somewhere to put these. But yeah, I don't think that's intentional. So I'm gonna contact them. Maybe they'll give me a little off or I don't really wanna send them back cause I like them. But yeah, very cute. I like the paw up here. Yeah, I'll find somewhere really cute to put these. I just love them. Okay, guys, let me put these back in here. Let me see if I can figure out how to get them back in here real quick. Woo, sorry, that was a rough sound. Woo, so was that. Okay, let me just get this top back on here and put these to the side. Somehow or other, I'm gonna put them back up here with their box until I find a place to put them. Ooh, and this foam that they came in is just going everywhere, folks. Going everywhere. Um, okay. All right. Let's move on to the next thing here. Guys, um, I meant to show you in another video recently how this... Um, this has been trending. Well, not this particular brand, or it might be. I don't really look at the TikTok shop, but these lip liner stains have been trending on TikTok for a while. And I put put this on my hand in one of my recent videos to see how it looks once it peels off. It's a stain that you put on and you let it set up. This is not what I just got in my um, order. This is from my previous order, but I'm just showing you again because I forgot to show you the end the result. And it does peel off, but I wasn't super happy with the color it left underneath. I'm not sure if I want this color to be my lip liner or not, but I'm leaving this back on here again, and I'm gonna let it set up while I'm filming the rest of this, and then I'm gonna see if I can peel it off again. It peeled off pretty well last time. I just forgot to, to do it in the video. So I'm gonna do that again. This reminded me of it. Here's another um, lip stain, but this is not the same style. I don't think. Guys, I need to start looking at the TikTok shop. Not that I'm gonna order anything because um, I've figured out from other people's videos that everything is really overpriced and you're better off going to just Amazon or even Timu to try to find the stuff. Yeah, the, the TikTok shop is a little, little overpriced. And sometimes they're not super reliable. Like some people say they get their stuff damaged, don't get it at all, and then they have no recourse. So yeah, let me, I wish I could get this open. Too much plastic stuff everywhere, guys, and it's sticking to me like a magnet. Okay, let's see. Come on out of there. I hope this is a better color. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be a pretty color. 
But yeah, it's just a lip stain. These are kind of coming back into popularity ever since like maybe six or eight months ago. CoverGirl came out with a lip stain. And now, you know, lip stains, because they dry your lips out, had kind of gone out, out of popularity for a while, but now they're coming back. And let me see what this looks like. This is the color I want my lips stained. And you know, oftentimes the stain it leaves behind is not the same as the color you first put down. So I'm gonna be trying both of these to see how they look after a few minutes. But yeah, th this is this one. This looks a little brown for my liking. It almost reminds me of the 90s. That kind of browny shade that was popular in the 90s. And see, see the stain, this one is already starting to leave behind. That's what will most likely be there after I peel it off. And uh, yeah, I think brown, that 90s brown, which kind of reminds me of baby poop, I believe it's coming back. You know how everything is cyclical. Everything old is new again. But um, yeah, I can, but you can always change the shade using a gloss. So if this stain turns out pretty good after a few minutes, I'm gonna let it set up and then we'll go back in and touch it and see how it does. Uh, but yeah, you can always, if you're not totally happy with it, your gloss can definitely change the game. So we'll see, we'll see how this works. I've got to stop ordering so many things what I already have. Y'all, I have 40 million lip um, pencils to get through and I keep ordering similar stuff. I have got to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side a few minutes here. And this time I'm not gonna to forget to show you the end result. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, come on out of here. I love this style box, y'all. I haven't gotten one of these in a while. One of these boxes that see through and it comes apart and you can see the product. I love these. Oh, and this one looks like it's hinged. I've never had one hinged. Yes, it open and closes. How neat is that? That's almost as cool as the ring that's in it. I love this, but I've never received a ring in one of these. And of course that's just plastic. But um, yeah, I've never received a ring in one of these. It's always been like a bracelet or a, um, a necklace or, or a pendant or something like that, something a little flatter. But I um, love this, definitely gonna keep it. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. I love this, guys. This is just a very lightweight. It's supposed to be real sterling. I'll look on the inside in a second and see. But it says it's hearts around it, and it's kind of an open. Oh, this is an adjustable ring, it looks like. Yeah. See? There's a little space in here, and you can kind of open it and close it. So, yeah, I like this. But it says, please return to Tiffany's company, T Tiffany CO, and it says love. Let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit. Ooh, and I'm putting my hand on that stain. I'm going to end up getting it all over creation. Yeah, I can't get this stuff. Let me see if I can get it that way. I don't know. I don't think it's going to focus. I need a better phone so bad. Soon, y'all, soon. But, um, now I've got this square in the middle of my screen and I don't know what that's about. Hopefully you don't see it, but anyhow. Yeah, I like that little ring. In fact, I'm gonna put it on somewhere. Do I have a finger here? Yeah, and I've already got some heart stuff on anyways. You can see my necklace and um, I've got a heart ring. That's Timu. That one's Timu. It's one of my faves. I wear it all the time. But yeah, that's really cute. And the way you can squeeze it, you can make it perfectly fitted to your finger. And actually that would make a good thumb ring because you can like get it down over the knuckle and then tighten it and then you won't have it moving around. Ooh, that was a good purchase. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, okay, love that. Let's move on, friends. And let me get this stain off my hand. Has it already set up? Okay, that stain, they're both coming along, guys. They're both coming along. We're getting ready to deal with them in a minute. Okay, this here, y'all. Is a mini little colander. Isn't that cute? And this was another one of those items, friends, that um, the colors 
differentiated with the price. And I think this may have been the least expensive one, and but I don't need my colander to perfectly match everything in my kitchen. But um, because unless you're using it, it's, it's crammed up under a cab uh, under a cupboard or somewhere anyway or in a drawer, but this is so cute, guys, and I was thinking about using this for another thing. Um, a couple of years ago, I saw a gal with, I followed several girls with curly hair on, um, on social media, and one of the gals did a video where she had her hair, you know, wet, and her wet, you know, ringlets, and then um, she had all her product in, and she had done all her scrunching, and then she bent over, flopped all her hair down, and had it in a colander like this, and used it as a diffuser for her hair, and it made her curls turn out fabulous. So, I'm thinking about trying this with mine. You just, you know, you have your curls down in it, then you push it up and then you take your hair dryer to it and you're upside down. And so you're drying it through here with, so it's not messing up your curl, um, your curl formation, which using just a regular dryer on your hair, which I usually do does. It it loosens up your curls some and makes them, I don't know. This, this helps you keep your, your shape, your shape of your curl better. So I'm going to use this as a hair product most likely or a hair, you know, styling item more likely than I'm going to use it in the kitchen. Yeah. And I'm assuming it can handle a hot hair dryer because if it can handle boiling hot water from like pasta, I'm sure it can handle the heat of a hair dryer, especially if you hold it away a little bit. Yeah. But I really like this and I'm looking forward to playing with it with my hair. So next time I wear my hair curly, which will probably be next time I watch it, wash it, I'll use this and let you know how it did. So yeah, cool, 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 cool. Okay, guys, this next thing is just sort of a practical item. Uh, I don't know how exactly this works, but it's, it's for my uh, phone. So I can, let's see, how does this work? Oh, and it's powered. Apparently, I'm not sure how this works, y'all, but it's supposed to be a, um, a tripod. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's supposed to be a tripod because I want to feel, I don't know how this holds the phone though. I'm not sure how this works. I'll have to figure it out. Is that a magnet? I'll have to figure this out, read the directions if there are any with it, hopefully. Yeah, I think they're written in a foreign language, but hopefully I'll be able to figure this out. And uh, yeah, but I want to start filming other places in the house. And I can't do it with this holder that I have right here that I'm using now on the table. Um, I have it stacked up to give it some height, but yeah. I'm hoping I can stand this on like my dresser and maybe film while sitting on my bed or something. I just want to change it up. And a while back I had ordered some uh, like cushions so I could sit in the floor and film. But yet again, I still didn't have anything to put my phone on to, to, to film at level. So I would have had to be looking down if I sat my phone in the floor, which I don't want to do because I already have enough chin issue without looking down. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm thinking this will be fun to play with, but those cushions, I ended up using them for other things. I have one in my office chair to give me some more cushion under the booty. My husband's using one on the, with the couch to like give him a little bit more height and comfort on the couch. And um, I think we're using the third one for something else. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to film somewhere else and I'm gonna start really soon. But I like this. If I can just figure out how it works and what's going on with it. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm gonna, I might have to get my husband to look at it and figure it out. But yeah, cool item. And of course I'll have my orders um, in the description box. So you can see what I paid for everything and all that. I keep saying, I'm gonna tell you the prices of stuff when I film and every time I forget to write them down, my prices, I forget. And then the one time I did write them down, I never mentioned the prices. I think I'm just too much of a spaz y'all. That's all there is to it, just too much of a spaz. Okay, next thing we got here is a winter time Sun castle. I've got my little bat in the window now and it's super cute. But I can't wait to put this up. Okay, let's see. Oh, and it comes with the, the little piece of rope or twine or whatever you want to call this. Um, it's got a sticker on the back. Hopefully that'll come off fairly easily. 
Ooh, no, it looks like it's gonna leave some residue. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. I'll just use some nail polish remover on it if I have to. But um, yeah, th this is definitely the front here. That is so pretty, I thought. The colors, and it just kind of looks 3D. Let me tie these in real quick and see how this looks put together. It shouldn't be too difficult. Well, for anybody else, it wouldn't be. But for your friendly neighborhood nervous wreck, it could be. Let's see. Y'all, I don't know. My sleep, it, I haven't been sleeping that well. And when I do sleep, I'm having like really weird dreams. And then when you wake up from like a really strange dream or a nightmare or something like that, it doesn't felt like you were really sleeping. It's not like quality sleep. You know what I mean? All you do is wake up and think about that horrible dream. Yet, well, it's all coming undone, and I can't get it tied. I'm gonna have the whole thing unravel if I don't hurry up and get this thing tied. Um, let's see what I can get here. Okay, I finally got a knot in it. Now let me get the other one through. Let's see. I guess I could throw a little melted wax on the ends to keep it from, you know, wrapping. Almost like a wax stamp. People used to use wax stamps on envelopes to keep them sealed and to be like a pretty look. But anyway, yeah. And I think the gold really looks pretty against the little bit of gold trim that's, that's in it. So yeah. I can't wait to take down my little bat now and put this up. Now I'm, I'm getting tired, I think, because I, um, I decorated for Halloween so early. Well, it's getting close now, really close, less than two weeks. But um, I think I decorated so early that now I've gotten tired of it before the holiday actually has come. But yeah, pretty. Okay. Y'all, this is not going to be a super long video, I promise. We're going to wrap up here in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, I was weak. And no, 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 that's another item. This is something else. Okay, y'all, you know how I've been saying I've been wanting a matte, just a dark matte brown nail polish? I'm hoping I found it. This is the brand My Dance. I've not had this brand before. It doesn't have a shade on it. It just has YG025. So um, let's see what this looks like. Let me shake it a little bit first. That always helps. I've not had great luck with Timu nail polishes or nail toppers. Like, I bought this rubber coat stuff one time that never would dry down. It kept feeling sticky. Um, I just haven't had great luck at all. But uh, let's see how, I'm just going to try a little bit of this. Just a teeny tiny bit just to see. Oh, I think that might be the color I've been looking for, guys. Once I get a couple of coats on, that is an actual brown, not a dark red. And that's a messy little little bit I did there just to try it. But yeah, I think once I get a couple of coats of this on, that'll be this will be exactly what I'm looking for. I just think a matte brown is pretty through the winter time, or at least through fall. So yeah, I'll let you know how this works. In fact, I'll I'll probably have my nails painted in this when I see you next time. So we'll, we'll and I'll mention it and we'll see how it does, see how it looks. But I'm gonna put it back in the little box here. I can't get over how cute this ring is. I'm just loving it. Okay, guys, this one is about dried down this stain. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I like it. It's kind of a, it's not as brown in person as it looks because of my lights. My lights make everything orange for some reason. I need to buy a new light thing for the top of my phone, but yeah, that's really pretty. It's kind of a my lips, but better shade. So you could put this on, let it dry down well, and then put some gloss on. And then even when your gloss starts to wear off and your shine is gone, you'll still have that color left behind. So in my case, you know, I look like a corpse. My own mother would tell me I look like a dead person without um, any lip product on. See, because my lips are so pale, they're like the, they don't even stand out like against the rest of my skin, really. And, um... Yeah, so that'll be pretty. And I'm gonna try to peel this off in the next few minutes. It's not quite completely dry yet, but we're getting there. Okay, friends, let's get on to this next thing. And I'm gonna have, okay, this is a little, um, everything, let's see, I, rice scoop. 
Yeah, you know, y'all know I've been on a little Hello Kitty kick. I'm not going to go crazy with Hello Kitty stuff and like have my whole house in Hello Kitty. It's too childish. But um, I just wanted to order a few cute Hello Kitty things that I could find for really good bargains. And I found this for a really good price, maybe three bucks or so. I can't remember. But like I said, my orders will be in the description box. But yeah, that's just so cute. It's a little stand. It's a rice spoon and a little stand. I love it. So you don't have to make a mess on your stove. And I know we all have those, um, what do you call those things that you put on and then you put your dirty, um, like a trivet. Is that what it is? Where we, we put our dirty, um, okay, I can't get this open. Here we go. Well, we put our dirty spoons, but whoo, this is very lightweight. This is very, very lightweight. It doesn't weigh anything. And then that's really cute. That little slot. I would love to have a toothbrush holder like this where I could just stick it back in the little stand and have it look cute like this. I might have to look and see if there's anything available like that. Yeah, I could totally see sticking my toothbrush in there and just having it be cute in a little Hello Kitty stand. Oh, but yeah, this is a nice spoon. It's a good size and yeah, perfect for rice, for your sticky rice when you're having like stir fry or something. Yeah, she's really cute. I'm happy with her. That was a good purchase. Okay, so I'm gonna throw her packaging away because I know she's not going back. Okay, this stuff away. Okay, guys, we just have a couple of things left here. I don't know what that was. Oh, this was that um nail polish bag. I know I'm not sending that back. Okay. Guys, I was weak. I said I was done ordering brushes. And this one was such a good price. I just went ahead and ordered it. Plus, I love this Mang brand. This is a two-sided complexion brush. This flat and more dense side. Yeah, and these are definitely synthetic bristles. But this flat and more dense side would do like um, your liquid bronzer, your liquid blush, maybe even your foundation. And then this softer side will do... um. I don't know, you could use it under the eyes. You could use the softer side on your complexion too for your complexion products, foundation, blush, or even you could use a powder brush a little bit if you wanted to be real precise. Use this for your highlight or your powder brush. I just think it's a pretty pale pink. And these Mang's Manga Mang brushes are really good quality. So I'm gonna put this back in here and I'm gonna put this in my giveaway drawer because I don't need it. I just and y'all, if you like my videos, please subscribe, share, like, whatever, dislike, any kind of activity helps, like I'm always saying. And um, I have a big giveaway coming at 1,500 subscribers. Y'all, my face is getting hot and sweaty from this light. I have the air blasting. It's cold in here, and my face is still getting sweaty. My blood pressure is a hoot. Okay, so yeah, this is going to my giveaway drawer. But yeah, at 1,500 subscribers, um, y'all have heard me say it a million times, two um, U.S. winners, one international. I send you a box, a Sephora-type box, um, full of stuff, everything you need for a full face, except for your foundation and powder and what have you, stuff like that I can't match. But everything else you need, you'll get palettes, brushes, lip products, blush. I'll just send you a little bit of everything. So yeah, and I love to do it. It's just fun. It's just fun sending people goodies that, you know, that I enjoy myself and just letting them experience them too. But y'all, I got weak again and I bought another lip gloss and this is probably going to my giveaway drawer too. I just thought this was a pretty color and there's so much shimmer in there. So much shimmer. I love it. That would be pretty for like to go ice skating or something or to go see some ice skating. Every year, this local um, TV station, News 2 out of Greensboro or High Point, one of them, with the whole triad areas, like we all kind of get the same TV channels, Winston, High Point, Greensboro, and the surrounding area. Not that anybody cares, but on one of our local stations, I believe it, is it News 2 or, or Channel 8? One of them has a, an ice show at the Coliseum, um, you know, they just turn it into a big giant ice rink and these like local skaters and you know, that are really good. They're pretty good, you know, at like competitive level. They put on a show and it lasts around an hour or so. And to get in, all you have to do is bring like canned goods. It's a really good um, event to, to 
like it's for, oh gosh, y'all, I can't talk today. It, the whole purpose of it is to help um, the local food banks restock, which is what all those, um, the canned goods are for, canned beans, canned vegetables, anything non-perishable like that they'll take. And they get thousands of, um, of items to, to help replenish the local food banks. And it's just a really good um, event and charity, you know, thing. So, I always go to it, but yeah, this puts me in the mind of something you would wear to an event like that. To go see some winter skating, be all glowy and sparkly. Oh, and we have um, downtown Greensboro. There's also a little um, skating rink that the public can use. I think you have to pay a little something, but there's an area downtown, a park that they turn into, a, I have an area that they turn into a skating rink and they have it open the entire winter, I think. It's fun. But yeah, but I am such a person that falls. Y'all, when I was younger, I used to get, love to go roller skating and stuff. My mother would drop me off at the skating rink every Friday night. I've probably told y'all this before. And my friends would be there and we'd meet up and we'd do the speed skate and just all the stuff. And um, we'd stay for hours and just have a blast. But um, now I've gotten up in age and I'm constantly falling or tripping or running to a wall or having some kind of accident. Yeah, I'm afraid to, to try ice skating. I did when I was younger, but I wouldn't even roller skate at this point, I, even though I was quite good at it. I'm just so afraid of falling, guys. I'm just paranoid. But yeah, I think that's it for my haul. Do I have anything else to show? Now I'm just running off at the mouth and wasting time. <laughs> But um, yeah, guys, I think that's all. So yeah, this is going in my giveaway door too. I'm, I'm gonna, since I've got one so close coming up, I'm gonna restart restocking for the next one that'll come at the next 500 subscriber um, increment at 2,000. So anyway, guys, I'm done talking. I'm all over the place today. And I'm just really hot, not feeling that great. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in another video tomorrow. Bye.